Scott. Thank you, Fraser. Um, efficiency, right, efficiency, eh? OK. So <clears throat> absence of waste, that's what efficiency is. Absence of waste, this system is more destructive and more wasteful than all the other existing systems in the history of the planet. OK? No peer-reviewed journal in the last 30 years will tell you anything different that is that every life support system on this planet is in decline. Now, when we talk about climate change, we're talking about climate change. But actually, climate change means dead oceans. It means less soil cover for our food. So climate change is a very truncated distinction, and a lot of people think that that just means higher sea levels and more money cost to relocate those people. No, 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 no. You're talking about a dying planet, right? Because our Earth management system has no life coordinates built into it. And that's the problem here. So we can talk all we like about um, these, these ideas about what we want to do to move the money around to try and solve this. But I tell you now, mark my words, and I, you know, I, I hate to break it to anyone that disagrees with this notion, but we're going to end up in a resource-based economy one way or another, OK? One day it will be understood that we have to base everything on tangible resources. Now, I don't mean a gold standard. I don't mean monetary relationships. It has to do with the acknowledgement, the tracking, and understanding that you're survival is contingent upon natural resources, not to mention understanding natural orders and laws, the synergistic relationship of things. There's people out there, as a slide aside, there's people out there that talk about sustainable business. There's no such thing as a sustainable market system business. The only type of economy that can be called an economy is one that takes extraction, production, just distribution, recycling and regeneration, and organises that into the most strategically, scientifically advanced way possible. And what these guys are selling you at the moment is an anti-economy that destroys more than it produces. So any mention of productivity is pathogenic. Any mention of growth is pathogenic. It's destroying... If you want your business to grow, you're destroying more on the planet than you're producing, and it's that simple when you look at the earth management context that I'm talking about here. There's a new global logic that we've known since 1968 that must start to be applied on the local level if we expect to have any life support left, and I'd say within 10 years. If we expect to have any life support left on the local level within 10 years, we have to start applying this global earth management logic now to the local level everywhere so that we can actually have some life support because the movement of money is going away whether we like it or not. And I'm sorry if you're not aware of that yet. I could talk at length about the new model, but until the, um, you know, because the new model is very clear, it's very understood what needs to be done, but until people understand that we have to move somewhere, then any me talking about the new model, people just go, oh, well, that's unrealistic. What's unrealistic is continuing to do what we're doing. Thank you, Scott.